What's going on, everybody? I am the Mass Man, and I am here for another viewer question. Um, it is by the nameless YouTuber, the famous nameless YouTuber. I, I appreciate, I appreciate a, uh, a man or a woman who can, um, go by a name like that as a, as a masked man. I can really appreciate that. You know, you got a, you got a couple of aliases that I haven't used. Mr. Anonymous, Mr. Make it happen. I got a couple of names. Yeah. Mr. Anonymous. I may go by that name, you know. Eventually, but um, it's Mr. Mass Man. It's the Mass Man today, and I have a viewer question, and I'm going to read it right now. What's up, Mr. Mass Man? I'm back with a follow-up topic. <clears throat> you mentioned in one of your last videos that people don't have good communication skills. I found it funny how you mentioned that extroverts don't really have good communication skills but they just like to talk so the question is should communication be taught in school as required learning this could encompass a lot of things including manners slash etiquette breaking the ice how to introduce yourself and start a conversation hygiene issues of bad breath appearance etc listening you'd be surprised how many people don't know how to listen etc if you were to start a school as dr umar is trying to would this be a part of the education or is this something for parents to teach the nameless youtuber i'm glad you asked this question this is a question that i want to basically stake my career on I want to put my career on this thing because this is what I want to be. I want to be a, a thorough, if not the best, if not the best in the world, if not the best the world has ever seen, communicator. Now, being a communicator does not mean talker. It doesn't mean I talk the best. It means that when I get into a room with another person, that what we do when we in that room heterosexual men talking man male and female talking we get shit done better when i'm there than when anybody else is there because we know how to communicate we know how to solve a problem we know how to have thoughts we know how to get shit done should communication be taught in school hell fucking yeah it should be taught in school and the fact that it isn't taught in school is one of the main reasons why i believe to some small degree in some type of conspiracy to dumb down the masses and to miseducate people because it, that's not something that you could miss it's not something that you could miss that people don't know how to talk to each other and people don't know how to solve conflicts. They don't know how to have discussions. They don't know how to how to have, you know, rational, reasonable conversation. Men don't know how to talk to women in order to get a date, in order to have a relationship. Women don't know how to talk to each other in a way that they get business taken care of. Men don't know how to start businesses with each other. They don't know how to build friendships with other men. It's, it's a whole fucked up thing that people have problems communicating and people have problems relating to each other because it was never taught to them in the schools. Should it be taught by the parents and by the schools? It should be taught by the schools because the schools are what should are what's supposed to prepare you for society. Your parents may be from a generation where society isn't moving towards, where society isn't progressing. They may be behind in the times, behind in how people are speaking to each other. And they may not know how to teach you how to communicate with a new generation. So the school needs to be at the front. You know, they need to be looking at the cutting edge of how people are talking to each other and they need to be at the forefront of doing that because schools should be collaborative because information is out there we have google we have 
you know, Yahoo, which I use. I don't use Google that much. We get, we got search engines where you can find out any information that you want to know. It's readily available. If you need a high level math equation, you can go out and find it. But who's going to work together to use those math equations to solve some problem that humanity has? We need a collaborative effort. We need to work together to compete against the problems that the world has. And if we don't know how to communicate, if we don't know how to deal with each other, then we're never going to solve the truly big problems and we're not going to solve the small problems either all we're going to solve is the smallest problems that that exist and that's the individual problems that's the problems that we have but we're never going to solve anything major because we don't know how to communicate how the hell you're going to have a great relationship a relationship without communication who is the communicator who is the communicator who is the one who knows how to talk the shit and knows how to make people understand each other who knows how to do that? Whose expertise is communication? Who is an expert in communication? Is it the guy who doesn't talk that often? Why I got to be that guy? I'm the guy that don't talk much. So I got to be the communication expert because there ain't nobody else to, to stake they claim in communicating one with another, not being biblical at all. That's not my bag. I'm just saying, why aren't you communicating? So communication is the most important important part of life is the most important thing i said that human beings are here to work we're here to work well you can work by yourself and you can try it that way or you can work with a group you can work with a team you can work as a part of a society so that means relationships are important but how are you going to form the relationships in the first place how are you going to get it started how are you going to make it work how are you going to maintain it you got to know how to communicate and that's not about talking or just listening it's a complex thing it's something you got to think about it's something that you got to have a lot of tools and training in you got to be trained on how to communicate at the highest level most people don't know how to do it they don't know when they coming off as arrogant and and the arrogance is hurting what they're trying to do they don't know how to be meek not humble. Sometimes you got to be meek with a person because you don't want to come on too strong because you because you're going to come on strong eventually. So you got to start off meek. You got to know how to communicate. People say that communication is 80 percent nonverbal. Maybe, but what is verbal is very goddamn important and you need to know how to do the verbal part. You need to know how to do the verbal part a lot like a whole lot like like the i don't know what the body language part is that may be like the lungs but the verbal part that's the heart if you don't do verbal well you're gonna die you're gonna die without the heart so verbal is essential it's essential that you understand verbal you gotta understand the non-verbal cues the and even when they talk about nonverbal, they're just speaking in terms of the text. They're just speaking in terms of when they say 90, 80% of communication is nonverbal. If I didn't say it, that's what I mean. When people say that 80% of communication is nonverbal, they include vocal tonation as nonverbal. I don't know how they do that. How they include the sound of your voice is nonverbal. That's I would think that that's verbal, but it ain't verbal. So, you know, I just want for people to know that I am here and I am trying to set myself up as a communicator. I never wanted to be a famous YouTuber. It's just my life didn't give me the opportunities that I wanted to get. A few of you, and thank you for saying this, have called me an, an intelligent guy, and I appreciate that. I, I don't, but I'm not an intelligent guy because I'm stuck in poverty. I can't get out. 
I don't know how to escape. How intelligent could I be? How smart could I be? But I think the reason that a guy who a couple of you have considered smart, the reason that he can't move around, the reason that he can't get around is because there's no communication as apparatus to to suck in a guy like me who wants to work. I'm willing to work. Why can't I find a job? Why isn't it easy for me to find a job and not just any job, but a job that's good enough to support me, a job that would train me? Why are they looking for people like me, smart people who are willing to work and ain't got no shame in it? It's because that's not a part of the system. It's not built into the system. So what do we need? A new system. We need a brand new system. And that's what I'm trying to create. A brand new system from the grassroots, from the ground up, from the bottom up, a new system. A system that I am the boss of. I'm the boss of this system. Why am I the boss? Because I, I had to create some place for myself because I couldn't find no place in the world for me. Nobody is going to nobody will even let me help them. They won't allow me to help them. They won't allow me to have a job. They can't find me a job. And I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that this is something that had to be created out of necessity that I'm talking and I'm doing videos and I'm showing people that I'm not worthless out of necessity because they didn't they didn't get the message any other way. So I have to communicate different. I have to communicate better. I have to change my approach. I got to evolve the way that I communicate because the way that I was communicating was insufficient to suit my needs. So I want you to understand. I want you to understand that if you want a communicator, you come see me because that's what I do. That's my specialty. That's my job. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what my career is. The master, the best, the absolute best communicator is what I am trying, trying, practicing to be the absolute best in the, cause nobody else even wants to do that. People want to be stars and they want to be bosses and they want to be whatever it is that they want to be. And that's fine for them. I want to be the best communicator that the world has ever known. Who want to do that? Who even wants that? Who even wants to be the best communicator? Other people want to be a savior. I'm not a savior. I'm just a communicator. I just want to get to know people. And I want to do things. I want to promote. I want to throw events and parties and do businesses. But I know that a team is useful and having a good team is useful. So I'm trying to communicate. What I, if I had a school, if, if I had a school, the communication would be the foundation. You couldn't graduate from my school if you wasn't a master communicator. You couldn't graduate if you didn't know how to talk to, if you didn't know, if boys didn't know how to talk to girls, as far as getting dates, as far as having conversations, if, as, as far as being respectful or dealing with disrespect from them, you know, solving problems with each other. You know, if they didn't know how to communicate with each other, you wouldn't be able to graduate. If you wasn't skilled at it, if you wasn't great at it, and you would have to demonstrate it in class and outside of class, you would have to prove that you know how to make friends, you know how to deal with enemies, you know how to resolve conflicts, and you, and you should have data on it. It should be scientific. Stop making it. No, no. You need to know this because it's the most important thing for life. And they never taught me how to do it. Nobody ever taught me how to communicate because I never met a real communicator. I met a lot of bullshitters and jive ass talking niggas. I never met some real communicators. So that's what I have for you. I could go on and on, but communication and doing it is something that I have to work out in my real life.
and remind me that this is what I say that I'm trying to do. And this is where I say I'm trying to be. I appreciate the nameless YouTuber for asking me this question. You could not have asked a better question. You could not have asked a more valuable question. You could not have asked me anything because this is what the business is all about. This is what this YouTube channel is all about. Communication and communicating. Sometimes I may be disrespectful. Sometimes I may be crazy. Sometimes I may be off the handle. But I'm always coming back because I'm always want you to understand me. I'm not a communic I'm not a comedian. I'm not a shit talker. I'm not somebody who's trying to be YouTube famous. I want to make money doing this, yeah. But it's just a job, so I work it like a job. How many videos have I done? I've done more videos than some of the most famous people on YouTube and I'm still coming and I ain't going to stop until I absolutely have to or I get successful because I work it like a job because I'm a worker. I'm a worker. So I don't know how much of this was about me and how much of this was about the actual question, but I appreciate you anyway. Thank you. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave it in the comments. Rate the video, like it, dislike it, be honest. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with the videos that I produce. Um, if you want to send me an email or you have because you have a topic for a video or you have a subject that you want me to cover, you can send me an email at the Mr. Massman at gmail.com. Link the link is in the description if you want to follow me on twitter or find me on facebook you can do so at the mr mass man that is all <clears throat> let me let me try I, i'm trying to do a great voice on my way out so let me try this <clears throat> that is all that i have to say about this subject so i will see you in the next video